this is the completed effect that I showed you how to make in my last RGB split video. And this is the completed effect that I'll be showing you how to make in this video. Hey internet, my name is Preston. If you've seen my last RGB split video, I'll be covering a lot of similar topics up until this point in the video, but I'll leave a timestamp in the description where you can skip to new information towards the end. I have this pre-made graphic that's pretty cool. It's kind of like 3D text. If you'd like a tutorial on 3D text, let me know down in the comments. First of all, we're going to pre-compose this clip. So right click, select pre-compose. You'll be given some options saying move all attributes. You can name that composition RGB to comp one, hit okay. And now we have this in a composition. Now I'm going to separate the red, blue, and green color channels from our clip. Duplicate your composition twice. Command D, Command D. Now search for the shift channels effect. Now select all three compositions, double click on the shift channels effect, and that'll add the effect to all three of them at once. Now change the color label on the top clip to red, change the middle one to green, and change the bottom one to blue. Changing the color labels for something like this isn't exactly necessary, but I like to do it for organizational reasons. While compositing, it makes it really quick and easy to see where everything is. All right, in the red layer, change green to full off and change blue to full off. In the green layer, change red to full off and blue to full off. In the blue layer, change red to full off and green to full off. Now select all of these, go to blending mode and select screen. Now it looks like nothing has happened, nothing has changed, but that's a lie. A whole lot just happened. It's just a matter of changing the individual color channels now. Select all of your layers and hit the S key and that will give you control over the scale. Change the scale of the green clip to 101 and we're going to change the scale of the blue clip to 102. And as you can see, that's <laughs> done some pretty wild things to the edges of the screen. It's given us a digital RGB split. There's a huge difference between digital RGB splitting and natural chromatic aberration. Here's the difference between the two. Oftentimes you'll see the RGB split effect and sort of like a digital glitch sequence. It's kind of more of a stylistic sort of thing. The edge between the split channels is very sharp and defined. Chromatic aberration is physical light being split through the color spectrum. You can even notice that most camera lenses have this effect if you zoom in close enough. You can see this effect when light is bent through a transparent medium like water or a much more famous example, prisms. Notice that the edge between these colors is a lot softer and less defined compared to the digital RGB split. This is much more the look that I'm going for. Now select all these, right click, pre-compose, move all attributes, hit OK. Now we have all of this in one layer. Layer, new, solid. Let's make this solid white colored and hit OK. This solid will allow us to control our blur gradient, which pretty much means that the further you go from the center of your image, the blurrier it becomes. Now look for the gradient ramp effect. Select your white solid and then double click the gradient ramp effect and you have this thing, which looks pretty cool, but we don't want it like that. That's not how we need it. On the ramp shape, we're gonna change it from a linear ramp to a radial ramp. And we're going to move the start of the ramp down to 180. Now drag the Y value of the end of your ramp just anywhere. And this will basically control how great the gradient is. We might have to change this later depending on how everything looks. Now move the white solid underneath your pre-composition. Layer, new, adjustment layer. Select your adjustment layer and add the camera lens blur effect. We have a lot of big scary options. Um, it looks intimidating, but it's not. On the shape, I tend to like to change this to a decagon because that one's like the most round. Under blur map, you'll see layer, 
change this from none to white solid and change the source to effects and masks. Go up to blur radius and increase it. If I just go wild with it, you can see the center is in focus. Well, not really because I went so crazy, but the center is in focus. And the more you go out, the blurrier that it gets. If we go into the effects menu for the white solid, you can see that we have control over that by dragging it and it changes how much is in focus and how much isn't. This is just to an extreme, but let's go to our adjustment layer, decrease the blur radius by a lot. We just want to increase this to the point where the red, blue, and green lines are sort of fading into each other. So that way it looks a little bit more subtle. That to me looks good. I like how that looks, but you can mess around with it and get it looking how you want it to look because this effect is really customizable. And that's how to make another version of the RGB split effect. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and put notifications on. This channel runs off your support, so your participation is always greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next one.